Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Hogwarts Legacy. It's interesting. I'm liking this a lot. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we don't got the cam going on today. I had to go up uh, too many ins and outs just to freaking get that taken care of, and it was kind of, it was kind of annoying, man. I, I must admit, I must admit, it was, it was pretty annoying. All right, so we're gonna get right into it to this new quest. So far, Hello we, there. we've been You're meeting. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm just known as the new kid around town. Everybody keeps pretty much saying the same thing to us over and over again. It's 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 okay. All attention is on us. All eyes on us. Um, I'm liking how they gave us the option to kind of give them uh, like a questionnaire, how we want to reply to people, what type of information we want to release to them. Um, I'm not sure if that has any determination over a factor of passageway or path we might go through throughout this journey but it's still interesting to see you know find out keep that in open mind possibly predict that later happening almost forgot some of the spells already all right we got the levitating one we got the luminous one i forgot what, what square is i forgot what accio is that quickly all right, let's get in here real quick. We're we'll meeting with Professor Wesley. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Remember. Isn't there? We, uh... Holy smokes. Remember we basically been telling her stories and she basically owned us. Uh, she's, she's very smart. It's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? So she's basically trying to say, when are you going to come clean um, about anything? You know, I'm just, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm going to have to stay loyal to Professor Fig and not say anything. I don't know if that's good to not mention anything, but I feel like we trust him because as us as a character, we went with him on a damn Nothing more, Professor. We I see. We won't let him on a mission and everything. I tried to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Extra assignments? What more work? And he didn't mention that either. We don't want to complain. Sound like a complainer. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Oh, are we creating a wand here? Uh, what's a spellcraft? So, it's, uh, let's fish. Uh, what's can you tell me more shops? about the potions? Is that something shop we can professor? buy. J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand. So, for is it you. things that I must collect around the, the world? in order to create new curses. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Oh, transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right, let's holler at him. Let's holler at him. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. 
Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Oma. Sebastian. This Sebastian kid, he's going to get us in them. trouble. Mind you, you... Is Natty the girl? Yeah, let's try to switch, because Sebastian, I don't trust I'd like him. to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables. Even though this Sebastian, he might, he might actually teach us something local. at the same time. Best but to he, avoid he, him and I his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, cool. All right. Well, it was Wesley after class. So, what's new? I almost forget that we have this. We have this thing here. We can kind of click on. We can just go, kind of go to our quest. this here is they at Hogwarts all right basically we got to go somewhere and gather our supplies I just was trying to see something really quick all right let's go here how far is it what are you up to now who's that mind your business well look at this look at a cat what's up kitty holy smokes okay Look at that cat. Um. You need some food? Ah, I gotta get you some later. There's too many things to explore around here. Can we unlock this? Oh, you gotta go that close just to unlock the little flames? Ah, there you are. What are you doing? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells you know, outside I, of class if I break my in an leg, effort to catch you up with your peers. Your spell. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll complete the task. What's the purpose of the task? Yeah, what am I doing what it for? Must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay, so it's kind of like, I guess, I'll start on the task right similar away, before. Professor. Somewhat a test before the test. Collect a flying page near the broken statue. This is the right area. I wonder so, where the flying page is. It's right there. So how would I collect it? Should I make it float? <laughs> No. Can I just grab it? I mean, am I supposed to... Okay. Akio was the grab things. I keep forgetting. Oh, Akio was when we played the damn... I remember now. We played the rolly ball. And we lost, unfortunately. Collect the flying page and defense near the tire. The flying page must be around here somewhere. Oh, I see it. That was easy. What's going on over here? Are you floating? Easy has a special knack. It's tormenting Professor Black. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust that kid. I was his red and floating. That was I an easy the task. Preliminary I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. 
You want to see something big? Remember, your wand is a conduit Repero. of your magic. I want to know whether it ever be something extremely difficult where it's like goodness to cast that spell your left analog stick and everything has to be completely precise all right mended charm repero can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment okay that's it very good if you would like to practice mending something have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water it allegedly symbolized heartbreak Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Was completed, Professor Rowan's assignment. Are we leveling up? Is our cloak changing? No. I thought maybe something would change. Lumos. Revelio. I'm trying to look for this chest. It says it's up top. It says it's down low. I haven't slept in days. I don't know. Should we continue on to trying to figure out how can I, you know, word the titles here as I'm uploading them to you guys? But just be be, be assured, my videos will pretty much be kind of different. Like if someone says part one or part two, my part one and part two might not be there. Sorry if I can't correlate that correctly as the standard might be for others, but that, that would bring the uniqueness to my story. You know what I'm saying? Is someone in here? You heard that, right? What if these are actual people? They have to be. They're moving, unless it's just magic. But you, would you want that job? Is that a ghost? Revelio. So is he... Are they dead? I just seen another paper flying. Okay, so I could continue on just collecting these pages over Hello. and over. Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. It's of the university. This is outside, folks. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany Sorry, you. Sorry, taking a water break. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I mistook a snuggle at pot for a puffle pot the other day in herbology. Don't be making that mistake again. Won't be making that mistake again. She sounds like a political correct young lady already. She don't want to make no mistakes. She wants straight A's. She wants a 4.0. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected you to take it. Look at a little jog. It. We're going on a jog. Can I sprint faster? No. Can I fly? Can we do something here Hogsmeade where my mobility is just increased? Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Gosh, <laughs> not like the snow, cold, huh? Because where oh, she's from and never I do snows. not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Snow, not that bad. Oh, wait, over here. Is this a shortcut? I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh, lace wing What's flies. So about them? Why not just say fly or They flies, are right? interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, all right. Well, let me capture all of these. Let me capture all of these. We're going to make some nice stew. Need to make some good behind potion. I mean... Imagine if flowers and stuff really did things like that. 
Uh, I mean, we kill her. We kill her. Spray it all over it. Shut the hell up. Not in my backyard. I don't even have a backyard. Yet. I live in a damn apartment complex. But how? Look! Oh, they shoot From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hippogriffs? Is that a bird horse? I want to ride one. Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Poppies. So many names. That's What's... a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Right. Ah, forbidden makes you want to go. You know, that's Pass exactly that how school works. Someone tells you, hey, don't do it. Don't go in here. <laughs> you want to go in there. I would all of my time exploring if I could. Especially I without no reasoning. When Professor Weasley True reasoning of understanding. The area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. These horses. She knows more about me than I Horse have dragons. Thought. I will say. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in They class. need some meat on their bones. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Alright, this is nice and all, but can we speed this up, please? How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do no, you I'm not used to this at all. I'm just trying to sound I still confident. Miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. He's the Hogwarts case. It's Hogwarts. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Mr. Moon Pleasure. not doing his... Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. What? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Dougley and Arian. Terrifying. Are you drunk, I sir? She'll be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh man, he sounds like oh, a Mr. Moon, a Debbie guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Yeah, had too I much fun. I had Real early. Hold on, let's thing. see what's going on here. Outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I don't know. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. What, uh, I don't remember the apartments. Okay. Okay, so now, even though we're not in that class, that doesn't mean we can't travel to that particular part. Which is pretty and cool. here we are. It is hard to know where to start. Cats, cats, the it's everywhere. Sticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. It's butterbeer? I could Candy? not choose a favorite shop. It sounds here. like it changes with every visit. It sounds like a corona to I me, I can miss. tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. You just gave Experience me a whole list. Experience meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. You gave me a whole list. I guess I'm enjoy going yourself. shopping. I, I guess we're going soon. shopping. All right. How's Mead Village? It's brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using a field guide map. Alrighty, here, goodness. Shops have these different icons, points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting the icon and pressing X. Paths unavailable. So I'm, I'm just strictly gotta figure this out. No, there's symbols next to them. There's symbols next to them. It's easy. All right, so let's do the first one. We can start with the visit tomes and squirrels. We could visit that from the tiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. 
Matilda student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. Mr. Brown. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. I'm not trying to look but serious. That is where look my stereotype it doesn't look like come in. Stay like the course, clear. and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. All right. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. Magic can be used for, for interior now, design, and it's good to know. Let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I the believe basics. so, sir. Good. The Minecraft basics. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Whenever I want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right. We got two pages. I got some coins. All this is temporary and available. I can purchase those things for free. Oh! I could get a hat. I could get some leather gloves. I could get me some glasses. I might want to put some leather gloves on. Sell it? No, I don't want to sell nothing. All right, let's craft these things. I'll purchase. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Damn, so I guess we need money to unlock different abilities. Gills of a seed plant. So I'm guessing this is more so like farming. This, These are things to help us, um, I guess, endorse or kind of amplify our farming technique with these seeds and these useful magical plants. But that's my just a my assumption. All right, we talked to him, had a chat with him really quickly. All right, now let's have a chat with this other dude. Not again. My bad to be just seeping into things that don't belong to me. I gotta ring you in. Excuse me, ding, ding, ding. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Just a moment, please. It's me. Ah, Just waiting hello, on me. Sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, Ollivander. I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? I want to know what mm, uh, no, wand. No, no, the craftsmanship the wand actually um, has to do a lot uh, with different things, but yes. whether yes. he gives me the option mm. to make one that's call. quick, agility, Ten strong, and powerful, inches. defensive, mm. technical. You might do. Alivander, what do you yeah. have in store for me, buddy? Give this one a try. Let me see. Oh, looks like a piece well, of a tree. Go ahead, swish. With some gold stuff. Mm. Hmm. It's a little oh, bit oh, dusty. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Yeah, put that one back, buddy. You, well, you might need to take that all, one back in the shop. <laughs> uh, put that uh, one up on a hoyer lift. You need something. We'll find you something, not to worry. Something done, oh, that man. You no, fool. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Give me a good yes. one, man. All these dusty ones. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter Take inches. the one to the top right. String. 13 and 3, three Let's four give inches. This one a try. Ew, this one looks like a twig. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> What are this you doing here? You got a bunch of malfunction wands here, sir. How perplexing. Um, they said you was the guy to go to. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you this are. This purple one that's standing out. Oh, green. 
So it must yes. be green, since that's my I class, think huh? You might be the one. Here. Take it. What this one look like? Is it black? Oh, so I can I can I can kind of customize it. All right. Um how intriguing. I don't know. How do we feel about creating a wand? This just feels like it's making my nose itch or something. I don't know why they, these indeed. these things just kind of look weird. Dark gray. I, I kind of like the white. How intriguing. No. I want something different. Something that looks like it's powerful. Curious I guess it's just indeed. a wine, bro. Curious indeed. It's not changing. Woman, does size matter? This dragon heart string serves a core of the wine. Okay, so I guess this is great range of magic. And what is this? Powerful? We want great range or we just want power? Ah. Let's get great Phoenix range. Feather. I don't. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. At least this one didn't have any <laughs> bugs with it. <sighs> Ollivander. Now, how did that feel? Good. Felt Different. amazing. I sense the sort of surge of it some It felt kind. like you took that a out of match. Your connection the seemed particularly the little powerful. Tree and you just gave it the to right me. wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond I knew that between stuff you played a part. I just didn't know how it grew affect. stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That Good part. It seemed like we Mr. can always Ravanda. come back to the shop. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. You can, because I'm going to need to upgrade one day. But you just work on this place here, okay? Get a little bit organized, all right? More worlds in this map. Pardon me, sir. Jay pushes, oh, thank push, goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Potions. Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, Pippen either. Potions? It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is Jay Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? So I'm guessing we gotta travel to him first. What can I do for you today? Before we can create a specific type of potion. We gotta get the recipe from him and then we must gotta, wait. Oh, he has everything. This is a one-stop shop. All right, he has everything. These are things to sell. And we're gonna purchase this. Purchase this. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another Damage time potion. if you're in a rush today. Every potion we could... I guess this is kind of like perks. Throughout our journey, we can pop a potion, drink it, and then it might increase our status ability or whatever the case may be. But that's good to know. All right, next. What's up, Timothy? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. 
Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. Timothy and this is my Teasdale. shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. Right. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Dittany, Dittany seeds. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. So, I'm trying to get this straight. So I gotta get the seeds, then I gotta get the recipe. Wait, I gotta get the pages, the seeds, the recipe, then the plants, then the ingredients. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, do Oh, wager. so once I got the seeds, I won't. I can just farm them and pick them up, right? Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Oh, I got me a velvet robe. I don't want to sell that. All right, so I don't. I'm not going to waste my coins here. I'm just going to do what they say for right now. But that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and meet Natty. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. You're saying I gotta get out more. Of course. Everything can't be peaceful. What the heck? It's, it's the evil strike. This is what scared the um those little horse flying horse things out the forest. Oh, so they just gonna mess up the town, huh? So I only can buy a couple seeds. Only can buy a couple seeds and you mess me up, huh? You wanna do this? Let's do it. Barely. Barely. Levi also doesn't do anything to him. What was that? I don't know. I was trying to beat him at his own game. Do it again, right? Oh, I can pick up items and throw it at him. Yeah, take that. And another thing. Would a headshot be more? Let me see. Oh, okay. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Yo, all right. Okay. That's the issue. I'm thinking that distance is my friend here. Nah, you see that? You see that red? You gotta dodge because they'll they'll make this man have a reach. It's unbelievable. Oh, they're doing way more damage. Just keep hitting them with that. They're doing 40s and 40s. Hey, hey, hands, hands off, woman. Damn. She fucked up. Yeah, I can finally block his stuff. It's not just red anymore. Oh! Oh! But eventually, eventually I run out of him. Protecto. Eventually my Protecto has to heal. Oh, he's charging at me. <laughs> Yo, she might as well just back up. Cause she's just getting flicked. She's getting flicked everywhere. Ancient magic. Oh yeah, I know a little too much. Who taught me that? Trolling with the punches. Now I'm the, now I'm the hero. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll? 
by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Yeah, me we confused. We would have been all mad if then no one told me. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Not even Hogwarts themselves. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. You're welcome, Officer Singer. Oh, Rapero. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you Rapero. Who's, who's asking me for things already? I'm reconstructing stuff, man. Oh, that's an impossible. My name's going to be known pretty quickly. Yeah, I wish I could just order down my closet like that. I could make it like so Sight, I'm blind as a bat. Repero, please. Seriously, the contacts are expensive. Shopkeeper. We were just talking about you. Already? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Hogsmeade, so this Frankly, area is Hogsmeade. Frankly, you deserve Hogsmeade. an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like well, to give you Where were those protections when I was just fighting them? In thanks for what you did today. All right. I don't know. Can we trust them? Is this protection? Is this a spell? Is he's a wizard or he's a witch? I expect this won't be your last dangerous encounter. I'd like to give you one such set of robe. Okay. Thank you, Mr. I don't have to wear That's them. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't Plenty say... Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I didn't say... Oh, we got some gear here, though. All right, cool. I can't wait to, to really customize myself. But I'll purchase this. You received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. You're currently defense and offense is displayed at the top right. We currently have a health of 235 points. Zero, zero, and zero offense and defense. Okay. All right. That's not good. Select the cloak robes. Oh, what if I just want to... So this is getting me three. This is getting me five. Let's get the five on. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. Where's the butterbeer? So once again, I is... sell even more battle-worthy items. Revelio, should you be inclined, you're very welcome. I like the enchanted mechanics favored by students for doing practice and mechanics in Glad rags serves only as a means to display the ladies in wizard fashion. Okay, so what? I'm seeing more things float. So I'm guessing on these mecha mechanics. Not mechanics, mannequins. Let's go to the three broomsticks. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Good one to know. It's a powerful witch. Oh, shit. The man with the top hat. Uh, 
Oh, you I said you it. could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Hey, not a child. <sighs> Let's go. Not a child. Did I'm they the man. Us? I'm grown. I don't think so. What was that the daddy. doing with Victor Rookwood? Granrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Is that a dead there twin? That's his twin? Or they just all look the same? Yeah, he know he's here. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. But Thank it is you. on me. First one on you? Appreciate it. Heard Double about it the up. attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents Get old-fashioned. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Well? Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Look at this guy. What time, man? Oh, put the alcohol away. We gotta be on our P's and Q's. She's short. She was, was that Lodgok I saw leaving just tall. now? First. Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. Is he reaching for his wand? No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Won't be that I easy, said, pal. My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. So what? That's all we sell. We gotta open up our mouths, man. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. We, we need Trolls, to let... Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. So she's upset. So the point of me... I guess defeating people, kind of saving this hog meat place and the trolls kind of draw too much attention to myself. And since the ability of that is being displayed at a way more advanced than some student. I am certainly glad I'm Sirona the was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. All right, well, let's go. You must return to your common room for the night. All right, we're back in our room. It's a new day. Let's reset. Decompress. Welcome to Hall's Mead. It's completed. We're gonna keep coming. Continue this quest, man. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, then kind of, I don't want to, no, I don't want to jinx myself. But listen, let's ride this wave, all right? Hop on your boats. You're the captain of the ship. Tune in to the next episode. If you like what you see, you know what to do. And if you really like what to see, you already know what to do as well. See you guys. Have a good one, man.